Hi, this is Latin. Hope everyone is staying safe. And we're back with Software Inc.'s beta 1.6.1. There have been changes to the games. These are the updates released on May 8th, 2023. There have also been a few more updates, mostly fixes. Since then, you guys could go in these and review what's in there. We're going to cover two changes in this video. All companies now have procedurally generated logos. Number one. Number two is going to be they added a logo editor to the game. So, get into both of these after the intro. Okay, in order to see procedural logos generator and the new logo editor, we have to start a new game. We're going to do logo design with our under our first. Yeah, on the left, upper left hand, to the left of the company name, you have a new icon. We click on it. There it is. There is procedurally generated logo update go in here change colors change the logos here make changes to it and these sliders at the outside I guess you play with these when you go into the advanced logo editor you go here We'll get more into this a little later. The other big thing is randomly generated logos. You guys could go through these. See something you like. Once you do something, see something you like, you could go into the advance and make changes to it, change your colors. So you could also change colors here. If you wanted to make changes rather than a, a circle here, make it a hollow circle. You could also, in the advanced editor, you should be able to do that. Okay, let's go. You could also use a code. Let's go get a code. In fact, kind of provided several codes, the release notes. And if you go in the release notes, you'll see there's codes in there. And I can't show you those code. I can't show you this one. Is the code dumping code generated a logo? When I enter the code dumping code, it generated code dumping's logo. The reason I don't want to show you the other ones that are out there is because of trademark. I don't want to, YouTube to shut me down. I'm not exactly up to date on whether they will or will not, but we're not taking a chance. I believe it's Apple. Microsoft, Google, EA Sports, and a few others. You guys could go into the release notes and see those. And if you can't find the release notes on the Steam, it should be on Twitter also. There should be a link on Twitter. If there's any codes you can't find, let me know and I'll see if I can add them to the, the video. Okay, so... We go into the advanced editor, we can walk through this and hopefully get an understanding. You're going to have to spend quite a bit of time here learning how to, these things work. Let's start up here. They use 15 out of 25, so you have 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 14, 15. If there's 15 different back shapes, Colors. So each one of these notes we're able to add. And for this logo, starts with three different shapes. You look at shape number one, hexagon. Shape number two, triangle. Shape number three, hexagon, and it's been scaled down to smaller size. So the logo tells you you have 15 out of 25 choices to make from here. They are shapes, images, effects, 
combiner, a move, a mirror, a repeater, color, and a mixer for the color. Mix colors, color mix. So some of these start with shapes, some of them start with textures. You click on the shape, you'll see all the different choices you have. Triangle, trapeze, rhombus, on the box, a box, a capsule, a circle. Select the hexagon. You can also do an octagon. Change them. So let's walk through these. The combiners combine, like this one. First combiners combining this shape and this shape. Give it this new shape. Takes this new shape one step further by combining this shape and the shape all the way down here to give you this shape. And all you have to do is learn to follow the arrows to find out where they come from, what's being combined. This combiner is basically grabbing this, fact, give you this new combined fact. The color is giving color to this transformation. Basically, this shape, which has been scaled now. Now, once we take this shape, give it a new effect. This is the final effect for this shape here. Means this is hollowed out. See how it's hollowed out? And the reverse was done with this shape. It was the effect was was filled in to create the black and was hollowed out to create uh, transparency. Then they were both combined to create this shape. We move over one. Here, color was added. This color combined, the color makes it combine this and color center all the way over here. My suggestion, if you ever come into a logo that you want to start changing a little bit or start learning with, generate the code. Copy the code, save it somewhere. You'll have the code. So if you make any changes and you want to go back to the original, generate that code. And if we basically clear this here, this clears everything out, and you can start over again from scratch. Creating your own if you want. Okay. Combiner. Bags. Texture. You can start with a texture and a shape. We'll combine these two. Transform them. There's a lot you can do with this. It's very intuitive. That you have to take your time and learn what does everything do. And then once everything starts clicking, you're able to create your own. And if you ever want to duplicate this, just hit this pencil icon. You duplicate it. Right click, mouse click, delete it. Right mouse click, delete it. In all the places, you just gotta grab it in place. Grab it in place. Grab it in place. And at the end, you're either gonna have one or two things. A color that you're gonna place here to look at it, or if you place this to here, this here, then this will place to here. Get rid of this. Let's say you have a mixer. The mixer will play. And you could have a, a color here that this is to that. Now this is still reading from the original code. 
So whatever I do here is irrelevant. I clear it. It's still reading from the original one here. But for, you should be able to change it, save the new code, and continue from there to build something new. But you may be able to just, for the advanced, clear this, start new. My suggestion is start with a shape or a texture. It's my, you'll learn after a while. The second one is the texture. The third one is the effects. Combiner. The mirror. If you find the shape that you want and you get the code, come in here, copy. Here it is. Else is in here. Use code into the code. Something that I saw and I'd like to. I would like to change the colors. Colors that I would like to change. Yeah. This. And if you wanted to change this to the same color as the prior one, you could just control copy, control paste. The hex them. how yeah, they made this side light and this side darker. But the difference between these are lighter. One side is lighter, one side is darker. I think NF did a great job in getting this designed and implemented. It's a whole lot better a lot more creative than just being able to drop a logo in here. And this will help you to learn new designs, learn a new tool, and create your own. I think that's very, very nicely done here, Kenneth. I guess that's about as much as we're going to cover with this. Like I said, you could just randomize. You come across something that you guys want to use. Now, You've gotten anything out of this video, you learn anything, please consider a like, description, a share, and to all my subscribers, thank you. We do appreciate you. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Until the next one, stay safe, keep those around you safe. Latin out.